Hello, this is Palico Patch, and welcome to another episode of Patch Plays Indie Edition? YOLO Edition? I don't know. I don't know. This is Ticket to Ride by Days of Wonder and Asmodi Digital, who is quite renowned for making digital versions of big board games. I believe the next one out from Asmodi themselves will be Pandemic, which if you're a gamer of any sorts, you should have at least heard of A Ticket to Ride and Pandemic. Uh, but I'm, I was um, looking to pick this up free. They were giving uh, a few keys away a few weeks ago, and I managed to pick one up after a, a lot of ball ache. The site crashed because so many people wanted the, the free uh, the free keys. But hey, I managed to get one, so I'm, I'm happy. I'm happy. And uh, it's not a game I've ever played. Now, I am quite a, an avid board gamer as well as being on the PC. I've never played this because it did seem like a bit of a niche title. I have recently watched the two episodes of Ticket to Ride done by Will Wheaton on his tabletop series. And I was like, hey, you know, that's pretty easy to get into. And then this serendipitously came along as a free game. So I was like, hey, we'll give it a whirl. We'll, we'll give it a whirl. And it took a little bit of getting into. The tutorial to this game isn't the best, but um, I managed to figure out what was going on. And I've literally just won my first game. So I thought, ah. I'm an expert now, we can confidently put this onto the channel and I will win and everything will be fine. Here's hoping anyway. But what is Ticket to Ride if you have been living under a rock? It is a board game where you are tasked with creating certain routes on a big map of America. And you get certain points for getting these routes complete. You also get points for combining several routes together making the longest route at the end of the game and you also get points for making the longer distant gaps between cities because you use up more trains and the way you, you you open these trains up is by collecting cards which are dealt at the start of the of the game and then you randomly pick them off but it's very simple we'll go for it as we play let's crack on let's crack on so we're going to play in a solo so la, 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 la. haven't got the balls to play online yet i might get around to it I might get around to it. We'll, we'll see. We are playing on the original map, which is the America map. So uh, as you can see, it's all here. But we'll get onto that in a moment. And I found the most convenient way of playing is with three bots. You can play with a fourth and a five players, but it just get a little bit harder to make up decent routes. I think uh, as a four player, it works out pretty well. So we're against Vander Bosch Jr., Sea Hunting Bot, and Jane Stand Bot. I'm sure these are based on actual people. Uh, I don't know who they are. They must they must be American, I think. I, I figure. I don't know. But I'm not one to best about with that. That will do just fine. Let's play. So. So everyone else has had their turn. It is now my turn. At the start of the game, you have to choose from these tickets. And these show you where you will be progressing. Now, as you can see, there are more higher points to be earned for the longer the route. But the less chance you do have of completing it. As it stands... With these three cards, if we're very lucky, if luck is on our side, we can make one long route skirting around the edge of the map. So sort of in this direction, up here and around here. And if, if we can complete that by going along these different routes, there's a good chance that we would get longest routes. So I'm quite happy to keep those for the time being. Yeah, why the bloody hell not? That'll do. Oh, no, I've got to actually choose them. There we go. So I'll choose those. So as you can see, we start off with four colour cards. Now, if you see any grey markings, that means you can put any two coloured cards of the same colour onto that uh, bit of track, or three would be needed here. Uh, any of the coloured ones, you have to match up that colour. So obviously, there are certain routes which are easier to complete than others. Uh, the other thing to take note of here is this one here. This is your wild card. This can be used on any colour whatsoever. So obviously, for, for instance, if I wanted to complete this free section here, if I was to pull these on, I can actually complete that because I've got two black and the wild card. But we're not going to do that. We're not going to... Well, we might do that in the end. Depends on how we do with blacks. Uh, down the right here is what we get to choose from out of the pack. There are five here. This, again, here is the wild card. If you choose the wild card, you can only choose the wild card on your go. Other than that, though, you can take two cards. So you can take any two of these other colour cards. If you want to get really crazy, which most of the time you do, you can take from the, the pack blindly. If you come across a wild card on your first pick 
of the blind pack you still get to choose another be it off this pack here or off the blind pack so again very very good if the odds are on your side on picking up large numbers but obviously you don't know what you're going to be getting so if you are hitting for specific colors it does pay you to have it off the colors you can see but obviously you won't always need those colors which come up many a time i've had three or four blues pop up and nobody wants blue so everyone keeps taking from the blind pile uh, the one last thing to take note of down here which is very very small is depending on how many tracks you can mount at any one time getaway you get more points so for instance if you manage to do a one connection track like here you only get one point if you get a two connection track you get two points all the way up to if you get a six connection track like this black one is here for us you get 15 points so that is well worth doing now my trick is to pretty much stick to yourself the nice thing about the bots is they tend to play strategically but they don't they're not dicks about it so they're never going to put down a bit on a bit of track which you're going to put it down just to be a dick about it they, you know they tend to stick to their their tracks which is generally good and that's because we have this nice wide circle going around which is open by the greens although this isn't the, the uh, efficient way of doing it you can be more direct across the map uh, but we'll be going around the edge uh, means that there's a good chance that uh, we're going to stay out of the way of the bots so without further ado enough jibber jabber let's crack on so i need black or black i only need quite a lot of black i think green ideally red ideally pink ideally uh black wise we could probably use I could do some green and reds as well. So let's take off this pile. We'll take the red and we'll take the green. As you can see, the um, when someone takes first from the pile without taking this one, it actually pulls back, which means you can't take it. That's the wild card there. So what else do we need? We could do with yellows. Yellows would be good. Arguably, so would orange. If we choose the orange track here, then we can concentrate on getting the blacks here and up here. So let's take the orange and the yellow. Ah, oh, I see his game. Oh, I see his game. All right, so what shall we do now? As you can see, we start to build up blues. So obviously nobody needs blues at the moment. We could take blues. I'd really like black, though. Do I want to put anything down? You see, the, the best thing you can do is try and take over the part where there's only one bit of track and are easy to fulfill. So, for instance, this part here where there's only two trains would ideally be filled up uh, along with this one over here and maybe even this one here. This one, not so much because there's two tracks. You cannot monopolize both sides of the track. You, you can only ever take on one side. So that does leave it open for another player. Uh, ooh. I think we're going to pick blind this time around. Pink, rubbish. Black, tip top. Tip top. Oh, shit. Okay, that's made me a little bit antsy. I think what I'm going to do, because I can always draw red up here, and we do have one red, I'm going to use my two yellow to make sure we get that track there. Oh, so that's going to be a bit of a shitter. Oh, we've opened up another yellow. I mean, we could use yellow. Uh, I, I suppose we need pink as well. Let's take the pink. Oh, I need yellow. Okay, that's fine. I dig it. I dig it. Uh, so, uh, a red, I guess. And off the blind pack. I don't think we need white, do we? No, we don't need white. A red. Tip top. We need lots of red. Cha ching Right, so uh, we need six there as well. Jeez, that's going to be a nightmare. Um, we've only got one green. That is also not good. Two pink. Let's pick off the pack. So we're okay for yellows up here now, so that means we can use our reds down here. So we're going to need at least another two reds. Maybe another wild card if we can. Um... Pinks we need four, so that's no good. Greens 
are a worry. Greens and blacks at the moment are a worry because they're just not coming up. Let's squeeze off. No, let's keep that in case this gets taken up. Let's just take off the pack, I think. Blue. Eh. Green. Tip top. So I presume that's going to be a route for him, Omaha to Houston. We're going to stick to staying on the outside. The, the thing you need to watch on this is how many trains people have. As soon as people have less than three, I think it's three trains, might possibly be two, that is the start of the last round, and you've just got to complete whatever you have. What, any of these routes, which we don't complete by the end, actually get marked against you, as opposed to going for you. So it, it is imperative that you try and complete the original ones you, you've got here. You can, up here, add on extra routes if you want to, but it's a, it's a risky game to play if you haven't at least sorted out your original ones. Oh, these are bloody rubbish. Let's take... Let's take a yellow. Oh, my life. And a blind. Everyone's just going to take off the blind pile now, aren't they? Yep, 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 yep. No one likes the blues. Oh, we could just keep doing that, and I guess. Black, that's good for us. So I need six here. I've got four black. Let's take that. Oh, that's unlucky. <laughs> no one's going to take those. <laughs> right, so uh, five. Oh, we're going to have to take blind now. Oh, awesome. So let's complete this one here, Phoenix to El Paso. Tip top, and that was 15 points as well. Which puts us well in the lead. No one's getting the cards they like, supposedly. Uh, that's six, that's no good. Let's, let's take some blinds, pinks. We can complete pink next time. Which is another good one. I might do that, actually. Oopsie, my bad. There we go. So they're going across. So this green is worrying me right now. Let's take from the blinds, I guess. Um... Yeah, let's take from the blinds. More yellow. Okay, well, let's complete the little bit there with the yellows, and then we can do the one at the top here, and then concentrate the reds down here. So, I better start picking, I suppose. I don't think there's anything else too wor worrisome at the moment, apart from this green. That red, arguably, but we can get out of that pretty easily. Let's pick for greens. Greens, damn it! Oh, reds. Reds, reds is good. Reds is fine. Um, I am a little bit worried about this section here. Because that's going to force us onto pinks if we can't get that way. So let's use the blues to save that. Then we've got two ways of coming around here. If we can't get the blacks, we can at least get the five pointers by going on the... Oh, you son of a bitch. I knew that was going to happen. I knew that was going to happen. Right, so um, we need to monopolize that. Let's use... The yellows on there. And we'll try and join this bit up here as well. Do I risk the green? We need the green. Let's get rid of the white and the wild card. Awesome. Right, so I don't have to worry about the top section now. Every other section really has alternative routes, so I don't have to worry too much about that, although this isn't good. Uh... Oh, 
I guess we just keep picking what these are rubbish. Keep picking blind and, and hope we get what we have come through. No one wants blue at all. No one's interested in blue. Alright. Uh three greens, we need six. So wild card or greens would be lovely. Uh still pretty crap. Saving the greens, not worried about the blues. Let's just draw. White. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Keep them coming. Oh, that's perfect. Six. Six. Awesome, we don't have to use our wild card. Which means we can put it towards this green here. So let's, let's grab that. So that means we only need one more green or one more wild card to connect those up. So, draw? That'll do, pig. That'll do. Wow, he's he's playing it risky. Mr. Hunting Bot, he must have completed his, his already. But they can't be w worth that many, if that's the case. So, what's going on? You don't have enough train cards. I thought I did. Bastard! Okay. Um. Well, we're drawn again, then. Not what we needed. Oh, God. You know, you get that horrible feeling you're about to be shafted. Not through any fault of my own. Or the computers. This isn't a vindictive move by the computer, bar from obviously controlling what colours come out. Oh, rubbish. Um, keep them coming, I guess. There we go. Got what we needed. So now, hopefully... Yeah, no one's been too much of an idiot about that. Let's claim that one. And now we've got the little ones, which are all doubled up to, to worry about, which is okay by me. Oh, so let's use the black on there. We can save the orange. We'll use... Oh. Everyone's going crazy. We'll use the blue on there. No. We're going to save the blue. We're going to use the white on there. And we completed our long one. Woo woo! 21 points. They won't be counting it until the end of the game. So don't worry about that for the time being. Oh, last turn. Oh, we've, we've shafted ourselves. That's not good. That's not good. Can we get around this? We can't. If only we had another blue. Oh. Well, shit. There's nothing I can do, is there? There's no way I can connect to those other two. I needed three blues. Son of a bitch. All those blues out there. <sighs> Should have took them. Should have took them. So. There's not a thing I can do, is there? Nothing at all I can do. Crap on a stick. I definitely can't put anything down, can I? Nope. Well, shit. Well, that's me shafted. And that's the end of the game. So. Yeah, I know. Lose points. And again, number 13 points. Good times. Got my points back, though. So does everyone else, though. Banderbot. He, did he have another one? It's In my experience, unless you get over 100 points, you've got no chance of winning in this. Even worse, I'm going to finish last. <laughs> and I didn't even get the longest train. What? Because it loops around. Oh, it's rubbish, Alice. Son of a bitch. Toot, toot. Toot. Bloody toot. 
So there you go. <laughs> That's Ticket to Ride. I didn't do very well. Um, I'm, I'm, I'll be honest with you, you're probably going to see a couple more episodes of this. I do enjoy this game. It's quick and easy. Um, I'm hoping I explained it well enough for you to be able to, to follow what I was doing. And uh, hopefully next time around, you may see me play a little bit better. But don't hold your breath on that. So thank you for watching. As always, a like is appreciated. And I'll catch you on the next one. Take it easy.